In this video, I'm going to show you how to open Blizzard games without having to use the Battle.net launcher. There are two ways to do it. One way, you don't need to have the Battle.net launcher open at all. But if you do it this way, then you have to log in every single time you open a game. The other way, if the Battle.net launcher is open in the background, then when you open a game, you'll automatically log in. Uh, it's exactly the same as opening the Battle.net launcher window and selecting a game you want and hitting play. So first, I'll show you how to do it without the Battle.net launcher at all. So you can see it's not open. Uh, so you probably tried this where um, you just go to the folder where you installed the game and you try opening the game <laughs> and you find out it's going to open the Battle.net launcher. Uh, so let's go ahead and exit that. Uh, it's really simple. It's just in these support folders. If you want 64-bit version of the game, you'll go to the support 64. Um, and it's just this application called SC2 Switcher. So if you open that, it'll open the game and it'll bring you to the screen, just to the login screen, as if you were in the game and you chose to log out rather than exit. And so you can make a shortcut of that application, put it on the start menu, put it on the taskbar, whatever. And this can actually be nice, like especially for StarCraft II players. Like I have three StarCraft II accounts, and I also play on multiple regions. So uh, just opening it here and then logging into the account I want and the region I want um, is a little bit easier than having to log out of the Battle.net launcher and log into the Battle.net launcher for the account I want. So that can actually be preferable, and it's nice to have that as an option if you want it. Uh, here's the storm is exactly the same way. It's got these support folders with the switchers in there. And I think WoW is the same way. I don't have it installed right now. And I don't have Diablo 3 or Hearthstone installed. But I imagine they might have similar things as well. And with Overwatch, you can actually just open Overwatch. And it does work. Um, but I'm not going to show that right now. So that's one way uh, to get into your Blizzard games. But the more convenient thing is to actually use the Battle.net launcher. So I'm going to show you how to use the Battle.net launcher and create shortcuts so that you can open games just from your start menu or from your taskbar if that's what you prefer. And uh, it'll be like you're here hitting play, but you don't have to. So first thing is the kind of settings you'll want. To, for the launcher to kind of be invisible to you. Have it start when you start your computer, and then when it launches, have it minimize to the system tray. That way, it's just down here. You never even know that it's around. But you get the advantages of, like, if someone whispers you or a game needs to update, you, you still get the advantages of having a launcher, but you don't have to use it to actually launch games. And, of course, you do want to have Keep Me Logged In um, enabled. All right, so I'm going to hit X, but that just minimizes it to the system tray. <laughs> so it is open. And then what you want to do is go to the folder where the Battle.net launcher is installed and go to the Battle.net launcher application and create a shortcut. And then go to that shortcut and go to the properties. And for the target, you want to go all the way to the end here, keep what's there, go all the way to the end, hit space. And depending on which game you want, you're going to put one of these things on the left here. So none of this on the right you actually enter. I've just labeled which game is which. So for StarCraft, the code word is just StarCraft. But uh, you put that in with the quotes and everything. And you're probably going to want the proper icon. So to do that, if you've never done this before, you just go to the folder where the game is installed and select the file that has the icon you desire. So just the standard icon. And you hit OK. Of course, you're going to want to rename that. I like SC2. And that's it. This shortcut will be like coming here and hitting play. But you don't have to. So you can put this, um, like I don't have it there yet. You can put it on my start menu, start it up. It's going to log me in automatically. So you can just do that for all the Blizzard games that you have. Uh, 
uh, you're just going to be making a bunch of shortcuts of the Battle.net launcher, adding the correct thing to the end of the target field, and then renaming them and giving them the correct icons to make them look nice.